What's up guys, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to use the new eBay feature to remove backgrounds. You okay. excited? I am excited, super excited. Super excited, we're yep. excited. I hope you guys are excited, so stay tuned. What's up everybody? It's your boy Ray. It's your boy Dustin. And welcome to another episode of the Nashville Flippers. The Nashville Flippers. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to use the new eBay feature, remove background. One of the new tools that yep. you have for picture taking. Um, it's one of my favorite tools. I know that I've been using it for a while because uh, it was out for the iPhone, but now yeah. it's not only out for the iPhone, it is out for the Android operating system as well, Dustin. Out for everybody. Okay. So I really okay. enjoy using it. I know that you've just now started using it. Past couple of weeks, past week really, I guess, last few posts I've used it. I've noticed there are some kind of glitchy, like it just kind of, sometimes it covers the whole item. Okay. When I do it, I don't know why. Or sometimes it will maybe leave a spot that's like all smudgy and gets on one side of the box, mm. which sometimes it works perfectly. Yeah, I don't so understand. I, yeah, so, so we're gonna try different areas. I know Rally Roots did an amazing video. Uh, please go check check that video out as well. But we're gonna show you not, um, the mobile app how to use it, and uh, we're gonna take different pictures like they did, and we're gonna see how well it removes that background. So find out. let's find out. Posting, take pictures first. So the first picture, where are we taking the picture, Dustin? We're gonna take it on the glass table. Let's see how, if you wanna take it on the glass table. Let's see what you, let's see how it works. All right. Well, let's just take one over the top. Still wanna kinda of like, give that 3D look. All right. All right. All right, we're gonna take it, where are we taking it now, Dustin? Take it on the patio, the concrete. So if you're just out in the parking lot, you just get done sourcing. You don't want to wait till you get home. You're inching to make that hundred dollars. Let's take it on the concrete. All right. Let's get a little little angle. Little angle. There we go. All right. All right. Next location. Next location. We're in the yard. So you're tired from sourcing all day. You're yard selling. You're at the yard sale still. You just want to take a picture of it in the yard, at the homeowner's yard. And they're like, "What are y'all doing? Y'all just bought that for a dollar." Yeah, but I can sell it for thirty. All right. We're on a stump. You've been chopping wood all day. You got a couple stumps laying around, but you got an item next to you ready to post. Here we go. Let's take it on stump. Just get a little standing up right here. All right. Let's try that white background. Get to the camera. All right, we're on the truck bed. You've get, been sourcing all day, you get home, you just wanna start taking pictures as you're just taking stuff out of the truck. Let's see what it does, how we do on the truck bed right here. All right. There we go. Let's try it out. It's a nice summer day. You've been grilling all day but you want to post at the same time as you're grilling or right before you're grilling or after you put the cover on. Let's take a couple pictures of your item after you get done grilling. There we go, let's see how that turns out. All right, here we are. Normal picture taking settings. Not outdoors, not on the toilet. We're right here in the room in the office with the white background. Kinda, it's a little, a little small, temporary. See how it works out. Pretty good angle. All right. Let's try that out. See how that works. All right, guys. So uh, we are back from these picture taking. We're back. Dustin up. took some amazing pictures. Yep. So we're gonna see, as you guys can see, we we are in the. Um, Cell is similar for the iron that we just took. Okay. So we're gonna add the pictures and we're gonna add all the pictures that we took. Just go to your photo library and uh, we'll select all the pictures. 
that Dustin took. One, two, At least up to 12. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll take a couple of those out. All right. So, so we can do two more. This one, and we'll do this one. All right. So we they're uploading. We'll do the first one. This one was taken. Not sure why it's like that. We'll we'll uh rotate it. We we'll rotate, rotate it. Boom. All right. So that's your rotation tool, if you guys don't know where that is. So, it, as you can see, the last item, or the last little button to the right where it says remove background, this picture was taken in the, on this table in yep. glass, right Dustin? Yep, on the so, glass table. On the glass table. How do you think this is gonna turn out? A little skeptical, because it's got a bunch of shadows. Got, you know, but like there's chairs in there, so I don't, well. We'll I've had issues with shadows before. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit. All you got to do is hit this little button here, and then um, you know resize it mm -hmm. so it doesn't take up a, a lot of what you what you took. Right. And then just hit continue. And hey, that's not that's too not bad. That's not terrible. You got a little, see, you little adjustment in the corner, but, but it's got the bad. refine your photo brush, which is an eraser, and you can just do that. You know, you and you can go in, in there. And you can undo or whatever so it's got a little bit of a thing which it's not too bad considering yeah. that it was taken on a trans transparent yep surface now here's so, my little pet peeve about okay. the remove background i got so when you go to it click go back click on the remove background like click, right yeah, here the, yeah okay so when you go back and re say you just want to redo it now that looks like the eraser and that what looks is like it? it would be that's the actual that's not the eraser. That's to add the white, and it, oh, it confuses me white. every time. Oh, so you can. So that mark part looks like the eraser, and this is the, the eraser. Brush. That looks like the brush. So well, it's maybe kinda, that is an eraser, like and you're erasing the actual object. So I'm not sure on that's a little so confusing. So that actually looks better, yeah. right? Yeah. And then if you want to like that, when you say, oh, I feel like that's the eraser, and then that takes off like say what you, what you erase. Weird. That is a little weird. So it's a little back. Okay. I feel like it's a little backwards. So you know that this is the, the brush. Yep. So it's brushing in. That the, takes off. I the, say the. It like adds what it is, right? Yeah, and that. So adds let's in say we one. we erase the item. We take the brush, and that come yep. that brings it back. You can kind of go in and refine the edges a little bit. Yeah. So no. that's not too bad after you refine them. Now I'm curious if you can use like a pen or maybe. Like or something to like maybe oh, it has a yeah. rubber end on now, it. Now that it, you know, you can do it on your iPad. You know, they have a pin for your iPad. Yeah, so that'd be kind of easier you know, than a finger. And then I know that um, the Note Android mm -hmm. phones they have a little pin. Yeah. So that didn't turn out too bad. Okay. Here is here is another different one, angle. Different, different angle of the uh, glass table that we took. So we're gonna resize that. All right, and hit continue. That's not bad. That's either. not bad. As you can tell, the top part is a little bit. It's a little off, so we'll go ahead and. Um... Oh, let's see. Here. You're right, Dustin. See, it does. You get it the does, undo. Yeah. So you do this, and then bring up, you know, and I guess you can erase that. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah. we'll undo that. But that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. So we'll apply that, and then we'll do this one. This was taken on the concrete, and it looks like there's some shadows there. So we'll flip it over, and then we'll hit the remove background, resize it, hit continue. Turn out perfect. That's perfect. So I put solid background. Nothing Sorry. else might be a little bit easier to do. So well, let's do the different the different angle on the concrete. Right. See what that looks like. Well, uh, this will be interesting to see. Mm -hmm. Because the resizing will be a little, a little different. All right. So what do you think this one's gonna look like? Because there's a heavy shadow on the there right is side. A, it's a darker shadow, so I don't. It might be a little splotchy, I think. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. It picked see, up the yeah. shadow. Yep. Yeah, right there. So, so we can take the eraser because I do think this is an eraser because it's an ara It's erasing. Mm -hmm. So I get what the okay. So they're like racing the background, but then yeah, and then the brush you're brushing, bring them back. You're like you take a brush and you're putting stuff on. Yeah, you okay. know. So we'll apply that, and so these are the grass pictures. Yep. So 
How do you think? There's a heavy, heavy shadow on the bottom. Well, I don't think it's gonna be as bad. So, but because you're resizing it, right? It's taking the shadow. You can fit. Yeah. Yeah. That'd so, be a little bit better. So let's see what that does. Yeah, that's so, a little, a little bit. But you can see how it's kind of like. Yeah. So we'll take the brush and then we'll try to brush as much as much back as much back in there. You can go in and fill and back in as needed. And take the eraser to where it's like just on the edge. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we can hit apply, like which that, is not yeah. perfect. I think the grass pictures are going to be a little, a little weird. They're going to be hard because there's so many shadows and yep. textures. Let's see how the stump does. I'm curious. Stump. Resize it. So we'll take the stump almost completely out. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm going to leave the stump in. Let's leave the stump. So let's happens. see what see what happens there. So that's actually stump, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna I, lie. I like it. It's cool. <laughs> so like, we'll oh. apply that. Well, let's see what it is if we take the stump out. But I do like the stump being there. You get a little texture to the picture. Yeah, it's a you know, Something it's a different. little more creative. So, so that's, that's not bad. It turns out pretty good. Okay. That's not bad. I it's not great, the, but it's not bad. I prefer the stump. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do another stump one. See if we'll leave the stump in there. I think it'll leave the stump in there. Yeah. We'll leave. That's that, actually kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But, it, but it's that's weird. like saying, do you are you buying the iron and the stump? There's a chance. You know, so yeah. it's like what? <laughs> There's a chance. So you we'll can go both. back. We'll we'll apply that. So we'll go to the next one. This is on the. It's on the grill. On the grill. Yep. So we'll resize this. Oh, why did that do it different? That looks so weird. What do you mean? A bunch of little squares. Oh, I don't know. Why did that? What? Crop. Oh, you cropped the photo first. Oh, then... okay. That's why I did that. Let's go back. Don't apply. And then exit out. Did I not resize it? No, what did hit, I do last? You hit the crop. This right here? Yeah, so you go to remove background. Oh, that's right. Okay. Remove background. There we go. Size it there. Continue. Okay. That's little, not too bad. It's not terrible. Little refinement. So. Little refinement on the top. Mm -hmm. So we'll try this one at a different angle on the grill. Remove background. Continue. Little, that one's not bad. A little better. A little better a little than the better. first one. You just got a little bit of A little bit on the top easy, there. Easy fix. You know? So we'll hit done. Oops. And this one. Uh, this one was actually, we'll save this one for last. Yep. We'll do the, we got the truck bed. The truck bed picture, which a lot of people, if you want to get those items up and going and you, you know, you want to mm -hmm. get it right on eBay, take a quick pick. So you can see the bottom. Just a little refine, messed up yeah, a little bit. A little refinement right there, so. And then we'll do the other truck picture. I actually really enjoy this angle. Mm hmm. That top kind of yeah, like side. Yeah, angle. I like I like that angle a lot. So we'll do this. Continue. Whoa, Ooh, that one really that well, one's I'm terrible. Why? That's I think because the, the bottom black. this gets a little muddy right here. It's, it's the, like same the same color, color as the truck bed. Yeah, so yeah, that makes. So you definitely don't want to do anything that may be the same color or whatever like you take black, a picture of. And the item might be in a black and a white yeah, box. Yeah, so you'll like end up spending more time trying to fix mm -hmm. it up so the last one which is the most controlled environment yep that we had and there's a little shadow there's a little shadow but that's probably what the resizing tool is mm -hmm. and we'll do that we'll do that and then hit continue there we go i mean it's little, got a little minor, bit on the bottom yeah. so we can rebrush it back in there there you go it's done just take your time like that, there you go. which is pretty good. I'm curious what it'll look like if it wasn't with the um, uh, I'll delete it with the um, what am I trying to say? If I didn't resize it, what it would look like. Oh, yeah, so trust, let's, yeah. let's try that. So you just want to not even worry about resizing, not even, not even resizing yeah. it. 
so loud. So it picked up everything. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, so you definitely want to resize it for sure. Resize it for sure. So. And it's weird. I've actually taken some pictures of white boxes on that white background. Mm -hmm. They turn out pretty well. See, that's just the white. That's with the shadow in it. Yeah. So it turned out. It turned out pretty. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend. If you want the best results for this, I would recommend maybe a solid black background and then hit the remove uh -huh. background option or a solid white background with yep. nice lighting. Or a stump. Or a stump with some, uh, with some lighting. Speaking mm. of the stump. That's my favorite picture. It looks pretty it's cool. It's a pretty good picture. <laughs> Might have to start taking some pictures about On the stump. Yeah, so uh, yeah. So what do you think, Dustin? You think you can use this all the time or just... Um... If you're taking... My opinion, if you're taking it in the box really but if you say you have to take it out like say you got cords and stuff like that that's really tough to do because it'll pick up like i guess the stuff behind the cords it's a little spotchy with oh the cord, i see like, what you're saying something like that but i think with shoes something that's more like a know, solid object yeah you know? i know what i like to do is just have the first picture of the box yeah, be the removed background picture and then the rest yeah. of the pictures are just normal normal pictures right. and i have a real cheap setup Foam board on the bottom, foam board, on, foam, board mm -hmm. foam board behind me. I just have one big spotlight, and then I take pictures, and mm -hmm. it looks great. The first picture, all white, remove background. Yep. And the reason why they're doing this is because um, Google wants, uh, for the Google Analytics, is they want a white background. Yeah. So, so yeah. So, what do you think, Dustin? I like it. It makes, uh, makes for people that... I guess don't want to go into buying the white background, like you know, buying the poster board. Yeah. You really don't technically have to, but it does, I think, make it easier if you do have a current white background. For sure. But so. I know that concrete. Concrete seemed to work out perfect. Yeah. yeah so, so I mean, if you don't, if for some reason you can't afford five dollar piece of cardboard or or foam yeah. board, just do it outside on the concrete. Natural lighting, you know, yeah. all that good stuff. Or even on the garage floor. I mean, that's exactly. usually or. Maybe the tile floor. We didn't try that. We, we didn't try the tile, yeah. so maybe next maybe time. Maybe next time. But there's no excuses now, guys. If you want to go out there and resell, but you're mm -hmm. making excuses, it's like, hey, I don't have the right setup, you know, to take great yeah. pictures. You know, there's really no excuses it's not, anymore. It's not, and say you're just, you know, you got some nice white tile in the bathroom, you're on the toilet, You just, but you got a couple items next to you, you happen to want to sell, there you go. Take pictures while you're on the toilet. I mean, you're gonna be on your phone anyway on Instagram oh or something goodness. like that. So yeah. why not? You know, why not? So there you go, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped you out. If you have any questions mm -hmm. on how to remove the white background, please let us know. Yep. And uh, this is our, our I guess, version of what Riley Roots did. <laughs> you know, I really enjoyed that video. Yep. So we wanted to help more people out there. And uh, now that Android is is live, you know, they're it's doing live. the remove mm -hmm. background on Android. You know, so uh, yeah, guys, uh, make sure um, you hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe. Hit the subscribe and the bell icon, guys. Ah, the bell. Because we, you know, ding. we do like to go live and we do like to interact with mm -hmm. our viewers. So that's always nice to do. And uh, that's about it, right, Dustin? I think that's it. That's it. So uh, my name is Ray. My name is Dustin. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side. See y'all. Peace. Love y'all. God bless.